I'm Dr. David Field, an interventional radiologist at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. While our practice as a whole sees patients of all sorts, my personal interest is in urinary procedures within interventional radiology. And so my patients may have kidney stones, they may have kidney tumors that we ablate, and they may have prostate issues and, and are here for prostate artery embolization. The patients that we see for prosthetic artery embolization are, not surprisingly, all men, <laughs> um, but uh, they are typically older. Most patients are in the 70 to 90 uh, age, age range, uh, and they all have trouble urinating. When patients come to see us, we ask them to fill out what's called the International Prostate Symptom Score, which quantifies their symptoms that they're experiencing. And almost all patients who are appropriate for this procedure will be somewhere in the severe category. I feel that it is my responsibility as a physician to give my patients every piece of information that they need to know to make an informed decision about their own care. The nice thing about being radiologists is that we have many ways to look at the prostate without looking inside the body. We can use ultrasound, we can use CT, we can use MRI, and all of those methods are good ways to quantify how big the prostate is. The bigger the prostate, the more it's going to shrink, typically, and the patients who are most appropriate for this have really big prostates. Interventional radiology is the cutting edge of medicine. It is the cutting edge of medicine for the future. It is minimally invasive in every way. And what surprises a lot of people when they come for their procedures is that we're not actually looking at them. We're looking at a screen and we're, not, we're looking inside their bodies without actually reaching inside their bodies. We do procedures deep inside them with, through a very, very tiny little hole. This means that recovery time is much shorter uh, patients don't have to stay in the hospital. Uh, patients are back to their job within 24 hours sometimes, uh, even after what we would, would have been five, even five years ago, a, a major surgery. Uh, we can now do in uh, two hours and they're back to normal life very quickly afterward. MedStar Georgetown University Hospital really uh, embodies care for the whole person, cura personalis, the top-notch medical care, and the top-notch care for the person who needs that medical care. Growing up in Washington, D.C., it was not only my dream to become a physician, but to become a physician at MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Uh, the, the stature that this hospital has in this community is, you know, cannot be understated. Uh, walking into this hospital every day, caring for the patients that we care for here is immensely rewarding. Prosthetic artery embolization is a minimally invasive procedure uh, during which we block off the blood supply to the prostate uh, so that it, over time, shrinks down and decreases the symptoms that an enlarged prostate causes. Over time, as men age, their prostates get bigger. It happens to everyone. It's just a part of life. But sometimes when the prostate gets to be too big, it can make emptying the bladder difficult, but sometimes impossible, uh, and really affect a man's quality of life. Having to pee multiple times during the night, not feeling like they can be away from a, a, a bathroom for more than 30 minutes uh, can really uh, make their lives miserable. It's all about quality of life. The good result is when a patient's quality of life has improved. They're not going to the bathroom as much. They feel like they can empty their bladders. They're not getting up in the middle of the night. They don't have the urge to go all the time. Uh, that's, that's really how we measure success. For the patients for whom this procedure is appropriate, it is nearly 100%. From start to finish, the procedure takes two or three hours to do. Um, so a lot of that is just getting on the table, uh, getting prepped, getting draped. 
But the trick with the procedure is from our end, getting the, the, the tiny little catheter we use all the way into the prosthetic artery. And we want to make sure that we do that accurately and, uh, and uh, safely. Uh, and so start to finish is about two or three hours. This is a good option for people who cannot tolerate general anesthesia and for, for whatever reason. And that's one of the nice things about uh, this procedure. This uh, is, is not requiring general anesthesia at all. Prosthetic artery embolization does not require a hospital stay. Our patients go home the same day. Uh, we usually watch our patients for several hours after we are finished with the procedure, and then they go home. The embolic beads that we put into the prostate to help decrease the blood supply to the gland are permanent. They lodge in the very, very, very tiny uh, vessels. You will never know that they're there, but they are permanent. The prostate shrinks because we are decreasing the amount of blood flow to it. By blocking off the tiny little arteries that are in it, it no longer has the blood supply that it, that it uh, requires and will, over time, uh, decrease in size. Other than the prostate gland shrinking, you would never know that the beads were there. The recovery period after this procedure is very, very short. Um, by the next day, patients are back up and uh, really leading their normal activities. Um, there is no hospital stay. And um, some patients have irritative symptoms, meaning that they feel like they need to pee a little more often for three to five days afterward. Those resolve, and we give uh, medicines to uh, cover that should, should it occur. After several weeks to a few months, though, the vast majority of patients will notice significant improvement in their symptoms. Patients can return to work the next day following the procedure. We do put a urinary catheter in immediately before the procedure, but we take it out two or three hours after the procedure. So patients do not go home with a urinary catheter. We do also see patients who come to us with urinary catheters. They do leave with the urinary catheter and go to see their urologists uh, three weeks or so after our procedure, the urologist will take out the urinary catheter. This, ca this procedure is uh, actually very effective at helping patients who are dependent on, on Foley catheters, who have had to had an, have an indwelling urinary catheter for weeks to months. Uh, prostate embolization can help these patients become free of a, of a catheter. Patients who are on medications for their prostate uh, should continue to take their medication uh, until seen by the urologist, and the urologist can take uh, patients off the medication as, they, uh, as their symptoms improve. Most men who have prostate artery embolization do not need to have it again, but it is a procedure that we can do more than once if we need to. This procedure does not preclude any procedure in the future. So if, the, uh, if, the, if a patient needs to have a transurethral resection of the prostate or other uh, transurethral procedure to relieve their symptoms in the future, this does not uh, preclude that.